Needed help with water, West Michigan did respond. Today, a semi-truck full of water from Grand Rapids arrived in Flint to help with the crisis there. 24-Hour News Ace Leon Hendricks is in Flint with our story. Good evening. The struggle is very real. It's at fire stations like this where many people in Flint are having to come to get safe water. Today, Grand Rapids added to the stockpile. These are the fruits of a weekend drive to help Flint, put together by members of the Grand Rapids City Workers Union. They collected more than a thousand cases of water in addition to hundreds of jugs in a single day. Helping out, they say, was a no-brainer. And that we can say we're representing West Michigan for the water for Flint, and it's been just marvelous what we've been able to do. With After collecting the water, they had to get it here. Cedar Crest donated the truck, and Dan Scolton donated his time. They have to have water to drink to survive. And with the water being tainted like it is, just wanted to help out. It's water that's clearly in need. Today, the governor requested more help from the National Guard to distribute the water. They're staffing the city's fire stations, and they're going door to door to dole it out. Thank you. I'm so good. You guys have a good one, all right? All yeah. right. Thank you. Yep. Their numbers upped from about 70 soldiers on the ground to now around 300 here in Flint. We have Michigan soldiers and airmen taking care of Michigan citizens. That's about as important and as relevant as it gets. In the midst of an election year, the Flint water crisis has become fodder for politicians. The governor apologized in what may be his most widely publicized state of the state address. People here say the attention is good. It's going to get better because everybody involved now. But the need here is much more basic. And for the folks who brought the water over here from Grand Rapids, they say politics should be saved for later. Help Flint. That's what we need to do. That's the right thing to do right now. We can blame somebody later. Now, the people who live here say that exposure is so important. They were disappointed because they were hoping that the president would stop here since he was in Detroit for the auto show, but that didn't happen. They were hoping that he would shine an even brighter light on an issue already garnering international attention. Reporting in Flint tonight, Leon Hendricks, 24-Hour News 8. If you would like to help the people of Flint, you can donate unopened bottles and jugs of water at any Art Van Furniture store in West Michigan. We are partnering with our Connecting with Community partners to make this happen. We do have a map of Art Van locations at woodtv.com.